Hi, I'm Karen and I'm Em and we are Disney, Disney Air UK. UK. So today we have been tagged, Disney tagged, and uh, we've got 20 questions to answer. I'm a bit scared. And we've been tagged by another Emma, an Emma um, from Polka Dots and Pixie Dust. So I'll put her link in the description so you can go check her out. And thank you Emma for the uh, tag. Right. So I've got my phone here <laughs> with the questions. Right. This is going to be hard because I'm so indecisive with these sort of things because I love too many things. I have too I many favourites and stuff. So. <laughs> yeah, so this is, it might be a long one. <laughs> right, so number one, what is your favourite Disney memory? Okay, probably my favourite is when we first took mum and dad to Florida um, to Disney World when we took um, and Brenda that was the and Millennium and it was so exciting because it was straight it was 2000 obviously and um, we had such there's so many memories that um, I can't even begin to tell you but uh, they were fabulous memories including the excitement of getting to the um, we airport got, we got limos, and we got limos we? Yeah. and when we, the husband was so posh with they because they, um, yeah they took us to uh, the airport in the limo. We, we were so excited. Mum had never flown before. Um, and um, my sister and her family, we were all together. I suppose that has to be my favorite. The first trip to Disney World in Florida and just the whole experience. So, and the fireworks, of course, where I cried. And um, my sister did as well, because we always do. <laughs> So yeah, lovely memories. Hello. Oh, can I go back? <laughs> yeah, I'll do it again. So long Which, ago. Oh. Well, I'm the same. I'm like I, I've got so many memories that That's it's really hard to choose, to choose one. one isn't you know, very I've got easy. it from when I was a kid and my first experience and the whole magic of well, it. Got the other and big memory, through, obviously, through to having your own children and seeing them light up with it. And there's so many, so many precious memories of, when, especially when we took my eldest to Disney World for the first time, and just the amount of attention she got from the characters, yeah. and it, that was all just so fantastic. But I've also been married. That's it. So I was, was going to say because the biggest getting, memory. Getting and married was a very big deal. Yeah, <laughs> and it was amazing and such a, a it was big, big memory. And, and, uh, Disney, and as you can imagine, looked after me yeah. like I was yeah. the richest, was princess. millionaire, famous celebrity, you know, type it was thing. So it was good. just so, so good. And, and that and would be my first memory. Oh, but thing, it's only purely yeah, yeah, that yeah. we got because yes, yeah, so we were all together. Yeah. Oh, obviously, Rob wasn't with us then. No. But, but also, um, I was a then. cast member and I had so many fantastic memories yeah. on that side of the oh, fence. Oh, gosh. And I suppose I might go for the sob story one. Should I go for that? So, when I was working um, at Disneyland Paris and I was working in Cafe Mickey, which is a set so that if you're a cast member watching this you'll know no one looks forward to a working cafe mickey and um, it's hot and busy and people tend to be quite demanding um but still we have some fantastic fun with some amazing guests and that day i was working with minnie mouse and there was a special group in sort of their conservatory area oh yes. and it was a charity group oh and i find this really hard to tell <laughs> All the, all the children in that room were very, very special. Obviously, they were not in a good way. They were, I, obviously, Poorly we weren't explained to exactly, but they were, extreme, you know, they had full machinery hooked up to them just to be there. And, you know, each child had several carers, let alone family with them. And uh, there was very specific, specialised machines and things that they all we're which, on, which I have a huge phobia of all this, so you know, I was doing well. really good. <laughs> but, um, and they were all special children. Um, but there was one little girl who was being cradled in the arms of, of uh, the carer, I think. Um, and even though she'd been cradled like a baby, she was about four years old, but small for a four year old. They were trying to explain to me um, that, oh, you know, don't worry too much about her, it's, you know, just she she can't hear she can't see 
um, she can't react so you know she, you know don't worry and I was like no I'm gonna spend the time and um, Minnie Mouse obviously is gonna take the time with all these children um, and you know as you do there's photos and you know just little interactions stroking stroking the little girl's hand to say you know yeah. we were there and the little girl smiled and you wouldn't think much about a little girl smiling um, but the whole, so looking at towards the family, they all were crying and I was like, why are you crying? Like, you know, what's going on? And they just, they explained that she has never smiled before and she couldn't see or hear, so they couldn't work yeah, out why she, she was, was smiling, smiling, but she was smiling at me. And, <laughs> and so obviously that is a very special memory. And uh, <laughs> yeah, so that was, that was a good one <laughs> to have and hopefully for them as well. So, yeah. yeah, there we go. <laughs> Special for doing for different reasons. It's hard yeah. to pick out my family. There's ones so many. And stuff. Yeah, exactly. So well, I, I think, I say, the wedding was, or <laughs> I've set you up. No, I've, I've done really well. Normally, I'm like blubbering to that one. But it just, it just stuck with me. That little girl will always stick with me. Yeah. So, and yeah. it's good to have brought that. That's what Disney is about that yes. magic that you can bring. And you know, they, they might, be, that might have been the Make a Wish Foundation type see, situation. Then maybe and just your vibes and things. Exactly, the, the attention, the, and the and you know, whatever. Yeah. Maybe there was some limited uh, vision or something, but something that day yeah. touched her and she, she smiled <laughs> and it, it was very nice. It was a very moving moment. Yeah. And I think, you know, the family definitely appreciated it. Good. So, good. Yeah. Good one. Good one. So, start off big A. <laughs> you better not be crying, stop crying. <laughs> okay, what is your favourite Disney character and why? Oh. Well, um, I have to. You see, you're going to think I'm really, really boring. No. Yes, and, uh, but just to spoil alert, there is a princess one. So if you've got two and one's a princess, save it oh, for okay. princess later. Oh, okay. I can there say that. You can then say that. it's definitely Mickey. Okay, cool. No, it's a good one. Because when you're there and you see Mickey, the, 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 I don't know, it, all the main characters, I have to say, you see them and they bring this energy to the place and he comes out and so he's my favourite because you get the energy from everybody else. Yeah. Yeah, no, I know what you mean, the atmosphere is there. And if Mickey. you see that show in Paris, which made me, I can't remember where. Mickey um, and the Magician. Mickey, Mickey and the it's Magician, really when we show. last went, we took grandchildren, or well, my granddaughter, because they were... But the, when we last went, we watched, watched uh, Mickey's, Mickey's Big Band. Mickey's Big Band. Yeah, no, the front the time so before cool. that, when we went New Year's. Yes. Um, and, and the, and a lot of our kids, so our children and my, my, my sister's, obviously, grandchildren, they hadn't seen it, and they were in awe. And... I was in, I was watching them and yeah. their reaction and oh my, my goodness. My little girl at the time was a toddler, like yeah. two or something, yeah. and she was just going, wow, actually wow. saying it. Wow, 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 wow. over and over. Wow. And, and, and she so just loved it. And, and, and the other kids were, yeah, and, yeah. and they were just, they were just like, taken by it. And it was, it's an amazing show. It's a West End level show I in think a theme so. park <laughs> and beyond. I mean, I've seen worse West End shows. <laughs> I have, I, I have. have too. I definitely, I <laughs> mean, yeah. Faith. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I have one particular one that I would say. <laughs> Didn't like, I wasn't taken by Chicago either. Oh, oh I haven't seen that on no, stage. Yeah, though, no. no. The dancing is better at Paris. Honestly, you think, <laughs> so, you think of fame in <laughs> Chicago is like the best dancers. Go to Disneyland Paris, watch the shows. Their dancing is amazing. Yeah. And especially if they're wearing a crazy <laughs> costume. Just say. Yeah, it yeah. is. It is. Extra points. So, <laughs> so that one's mine because, yeah. yeah. Because it is, it's yeah. just the Mickey. Yeah, no, Mickey oh, good. I love Mickey. And you get that. Yeah, definitely. That, yeah. I, I, I find it hard to pick favourites here because I could literally, yeah. it depends on the genre. But if we're, we're talking about uh, the Fab Five, uh, Famous Six, wherever you want to, like how many of them you want to count out, Mickey and Friends. Um, I love Mickey too, obviously. Mickey's really important to me. But uh, Donald, I, I'm a Donald fan. I know you're well. Donald. I, love I love Donald. I thought you'd say Donald. Yeah. I do, I just love Donald. I love how naughty he is and I love, it just, he's so funny and um, when I've watched, uh, sorry my phone was buzzing and I was like, oh. and <laughs> <laughs> um, my favourite um, short, Mickey short, is uh, Mickey in the Concert 
uh, band concert and Donald in that cracks me up to the point that I'm in tears crying and it's pretty much, it doesn't have much speaking lines, it, it's a couple of bits here and there, you know, it's the proper 30s Mickey where you just get the occasional, oh boy, like type thing, <laughs> um, you know, it's She's not like a lot of di dialogue and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but Donald in that, watch it, he's so funny, it cracks me up every time, even though I've seen it so many times, and that really made me fall in love with Donald, and, well, I think I was in love with Donald anyway from the <laughs> 80s cartoons and stuff, but if you watch that, and the early, early Donald, and he just winds Mickey up to the point, and so, so well, and just, I just, I just, I love it, and uh, along the same sort of lines, I suppose I'll say Stitch as well, I do love Stitch, mm -hmm. so, they're big characters for me, but... Yeah. There we right, go. next. This was yeah, yeah, I know, I know. There's a lot. Okay, hours. yeah, we can be quick on this one. <laughs> what is your favourite Disney pin and why? Well, you don't collect. I pins. don't collect pins, so. But I have got one here. I do have some really special pins and some that have big memories and they're really collectible and stuff like this. This one's a pretty silly one, really. And I even I traded it. I traded a cast member outside um, City Hall in Walt Disney World, and she was like. You'll have to find out what this one is for me because I really don't know what it is. And I took it because I just thought it was great. And I, 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 when I first looked, I just assumed it was It's a Small World. I just thought that when I, I didn't have a proper look at it. But as soon as I took it off of her, and I, you know, unfortunately she walked away, and I looked, it's, it's the five legged, legged goat from the contemporary, from the Mary Blair. You know, <laughs> in, in the contemporary, they've got these massive wall murals. And it's. <laughs> Amongst all those goats, there's quite a few goats in there. I don't know how you're gonna. I might have to come forwards then. It's a uh, got five legs, and it's just a random one on the mural that has a. It's a five-legged goat. I mean, what's there not to like about a five-legged goat? It makes me laugh. It's Mary Blair, and I love Mary Blair. Um, so even though actually contemporary doesn't, um, it's not one of my high-ranked uh, hotels to the cameraman's despair because he loves it. But I love the mural, I love Mary Blair, and the fact that the goat has got too many legs, I just, I think that, the fact they've done a pin on that as well, I'm just like, it's <laughs> so funny. Pin on everything. And it's, that is my sense of humour, yeah. summed up in a pin, like, it's a goat with five legs, like, it's random, it makes me like, smile. It's, yeah, she that's me. Please. There we go. Easily please, oh, shut up. We're sticking. How all these expensive pens that, pins that like my husband's <laughs> queued for hours getting and things like that. Yeah, just the, just a five-legged cat will do. Um, <laughs> no, I'd love all my pins. Um, so, what is your favourite Disney movie song? Well, that was quite easy because it's When You Wish Upon a Star from Pinocchio. Because it's just some. See, I told you they think I'm really boring. No, so no, because mine's quite. Yeah, no, so I like when it. You wish upon a star. Oh, doesn't it, it make you get? You know, when it is. It's one of those um, cliche Disney songs, but it's one that you know it gives you all those feels. It's used yeah. in so many shows and fireworks as well, so it can I really know, it link it to different mem memories as well. So. I know. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm there is another one because I love the one and I've forgotten the name of it. And what, where is it? Friend, uh, the, 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 well, you've got a friend, friend in me. me. Yeah, yeah. I, that was my first yeah, dance song. If that, if we had a first dance, we didn't really have yeah, a first dance. Yeah, we did. It was meant to be. You got a friend in me. Yeah, <laughs> so. yeah, but watching them and you got a friend, it was perfect. Yeah. Yep, yeah. I, I just, I, this is hard. I, I, picking one is really hard for oh, me. No. But I'm gonna go for. The second star to the right. So because again, similar, similar. it gives me all yeah. those feels. It makes me think of going on holiday. Yeah, yeah. It thinks it makes me think of obviously. I love Peter Pan as a film. <laughs> it's a great film. And yeah. um, I've got Peter Pan tattoo yeah. on my leg. I just love Peter. And again, it's Mary Blair. There we go. I've got a theme going. Mary Blair inspired a lot of the the color palette for the film. Um, and worked on with that with the Imagineers and the artists in that way. And. Uh, I don't know, it just gives you that magic, doesn't it? Yeah. It just, yeah, yeah. And it, yeah, yeah, it's great. But I, it, there's so many, again, there's so many songs that I like because I love the Lion King music, so I can pick out loads of them. I had um, Can You Feel the Love Tonight as I walked down the aisle of my wedding, so that's a very important one as well yeah. for us. And yeah, yeah, yeah. 
And I need to go upstairs because there is a question and I've got something I need. Oh, no. Okay, we'll have to pause it in a second when we get it. Yeah, should we do the next one? Okay, so uh, what is your favourite Pixar movie? Oh, oh, easy. Toy Story. The first one. Story. Yeah, it's original Toy Story. It is. It's, you, you can't really beat the original Toy Story, to be fair. Um, I, I really, oh, this is so hard again. I really struggle with this. I really well, like you're doing Wally. That, gonna, and I is like, that one? Um, you, well, no, well, you talk about, about Wally. And, okay. I and, and be Monsters Inc. I just, oh, watching yeah. Monsters Inc. the first time because I'm such an animation geek. I actually, <laughs> I think I cried when I saw, you know, the, the bit where Sully ha is face down in the snow and you see his fur and um, being blown around in the wind and that detail, I just was like, I cannot believe. It looks like they've drawn every single, they, you know, every single individual hair and made it move and it was so realistic and we'd never seen animation on that level before and it just it blew me away I will start the next one for her as well uh, so that is what is your favorite Disney park again this is this is a harsh one because where do you start Paris California Florida those are the ones we've done um, oh that's really hard because I love them all for different reasons I love going to Disneyland Paris, Disneyland Park in Disneyland Paris slash Magic Kingdom, whatever you want to refer it to, but it's meant to be just Disneyland Park. Um, that to me is just like, well, it was, it was home for a while, it's where I worked, it went both parks, but it's the Christmas Eve park to me. I love, I love going to Disneyland Paris at Christmas, but then you've got Disney World and Disney World has just has everything and Oh, Magic Kingdom is so good, but also I love Epcot and Animal Kingdom. I think Hollywood Studio ranks lowest, but then it's now got more since we last went, so it might might go up, especially with Galaxy's Edge, but I think I'm, I'm an Epcot person, I think. And then I just love California as well, and I loved both parks. I like California Adventure. Oh, do you want the best park? park? Yeah, best park, so I can't oh. choose. I cannot choose my favourite park. Well, What's I your have to park? say... Well, the 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 what one? Magic Kingdom. Magic Kingdom. It has to be because of the castle, because yeah. of the atmosphere. We always go to Magic Kingdom on the first day yeah. and last day of our yeah, holiday. You have to say hello and goodbye to that castle. I know. You, you don't feel thing. like you're at Disney until you've seen the castle. See? Yeah, oh, it's definitely. what can you say? But I love all the other parks, don't get me wrong, but if you're asking me, yeah, that one, cause, because of the the castle, the magic. mainly, the magic of the mm. castle, yes. Mm. Oh, it's so hard. I don't know. You, Epcot. you like it. I do like it. You like it, Epcot. You also Epcot like Animal of, Kingdom. I do. You like like, I love animals. So animal <laughs> Kingdom ranks high. And you as stayed well. at Animal Kingdom for your yeah, Animal moon. Kingdom Lodge was great. Yeah, it was, it was beautiful. Mm. It was such a yeah. See, there's too many. There's memories. so much to choose from. <laughs> you asked. I love one Disney. question. What mood? It, it depends on what mood I'm in. Epcot is for eating and drinking. <laughs> you know, obviously. <laughs> And it's pretty. It is very pretty. I love going around. But and the fireworks oh, for your, your yeah, wedding. Yeah, wedding was beautiful. Wedding again. So but that was one of my favourite memories <laughs> as well. Oh, I don't. <laughs> Uh, this is going to be equally difficult. Oh, oh, so you wanted to do your Disney movie, or is this for later? This is for later. later. What know. is your favourite Disney ride? Oh, oh. See, we're not going to be good at this at all. We have too many oh, favourites. Oh my god. Favourite Disney ride. Mm. Space Mountain. Yeah, it's a really good one. You like the Space Mountain? You're referring to Space Mountain at Disneyland Paris. Uh, yes, at oh, Disneyland Paris. Yeah, yeah, mission. Tour. Other than that. Um, the and you uh, liked Hyperspace uh, Mountain, didn't you? Uh, I did. Overlay. But no, no. Um, oh, I've forgotten the name of it. But but the the oh, <laughs> rock and roll coaster. <laughs> rock and roll coaster. <laughs> <laughs> I, have to, I have to think about the right rock and roll coaster. <laughs> ten nine eight. Nine. It doesn't start from ten. I don't think. <laughs> no. It <didn't. laughs> you want to count down? <laughs> Yes, but then also it's a small world because yes. of 
the fact that it's a tradition. It is our tradition. Yeah. We always go on that road yeah. first. It yeah. starts on all So day. what do you want me to say? And I of course know. that you've got... I don't know. You, I can't, because I can't, I've they got say so only many favourites. So. <sighs> don't I really do you? I could yeah, list exactly. the list. Yeah, exactly. so good. And the Haunted Terror Mansion. Tower. And then Tech Tower. <laughs> Guardian's Mission Breakout is so good. The Incredicoaster. That was good. Oh, yeah. Everest. Love Everest. As okay, well. so which one? I don't I've know. chosen Space I Mountain. Know. I'm really Just struggling. Just because of that. Uh, Splash Mountain. Splash Mountain. You like Splash really Mountain. good as well. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> choose one of them as your answer. Yeah, choose one. <laughs> Whatever one you choose. Right, okay. I love Space Mountain. It won't be wrong. It's in the worst ride. Oh dear, I don't know. Uh, and uh, well, you missed out one that I know is one oh, of your okay. big favourites. Gone then. Flights of Passage. I oh, love yes. Flights of Passage. Oh gosh. She of loves Flights of Passage. I love that. What is your favourite Disney character experience? Easy one, because when we went, the thing is, it's maybe not. Well, it is still my experience, but my granddaughter, when she was she was only two, and um, it was Buzz and Woody. It was brilliant, and we queued for a while, and the whole they they just adored her. She loved it, and uh, yeah, that's my favourite mm -hmm. one. Yeah, we, I was going to say the same because <laughs> yeah, it's just stole my one because. She, we, we'd queued for a good half hour, 45 minutes, and you, you just don't think that the characters are going to spend much time with you at that case. You know, they've got to try they've and clear the queue. Yeah. It's going to be a take photo, all to go off and out again. And oh, yes, Buzz and Woody, they just interacting. Yeah, Andy's uh, in Andy's bedroom and um, in Hollywood Studios. And she, she, Buzz was a huge character to her then. It, it was her, one of her favourite characters, if not her favourite character. She just loved Buzz Lightyear. She wanted Buzz Lightyear toy, Buzz Lightyear costume. <laughs> you know, she loved loved Buzz, and she she even though her two, I don't know where she got the idea from. She kept saying that Buzz was her boyfriend, which is a bit strange, but she got that somewhere. Someone must have said, oh, you know, along the way. But she just adored Buzz and Woody, and going in there, and they they picked up really quickly that she was a huge fan. And they were giving her so much fuss. They were arguing over it, like Buzz and Woody were like, you know, no, she loves me more. No, and they're like saying, I love her, and yeah. blowing her kisses, and and sort of playing uh, playing in the room with her, and you know, taking her around like, look, let's look at this, and, and she really loved interacting it, with her, she? and she taking the time with her. We, really we had so pictures. many different photos with them, yeah. and uh, they they just really took the time with her and made yes. it very very special. Yeah. And she just soaked it up. We must have been there 15 minutes, 20 minutes and it, there was a cute, I, we kept saying because being the ex-cast member I was like <laughs> saying to the team leader and that I was like don't you think we've been too long like are you sure like I felt really like almost guilty I was like we're taking all this time these people are waiting they're like no yeah. honestly and they just could see that it just was amazing for her yeah. and she just yeah. loved it she and did. it was it was amazing it was so good so yes. thank you cast members <laughs> <laughs> thank you Buzz and Woody it was very it made very our special. day watching her so yeah and I think another one again with my daughter yeah um and my youngest hasn't really, she was quite young when we went with her and she hasn't really had that Walt Disney World experience yet so I can't wait to do that with her but um, this was actually Paris uh, funny enough and we were in a, a Cinderella's table um, auberge um, and they, they've got the they, they've got the princesses around and the princes and they've got um, they Susie like, and Perla and they do a little, do a little um, show. show in the middle and they kept coming over to the table making a big fuss of her anyway she was she in her little snow white she costume was so she's too cute she was, she was a very cute and child I know if one sounds biased yeah, but she was <laughs> yeah, honestly the, we we were stood by the parade and every. You, know, you sometimes get one character come over and high five and say something or wave to you. She literally, it was like a queue. It, the parade was just a queue to see her. <laughs> you know, it. there was literally so character sweet. after character stopping yeah. for her. No one else. Just and had a good day. It just was day, like that. She? It was just that. That's the way it went. These characters it just come into yeah. it. Um, but yes, yeah, so for the show, she she loved Perla and Susie. She really took to them, and they were spending lots of time at the table with them, uh, with her. And then the show came, and they just took her. <laughs> like they did. The prince, yeah, the Snow White, and Snow White. And, yeah, it was great. And they and they, just, they took her, <laughs> and they, she sat. I can't remember if it was Susie or Perla now. I can't remember which one it was, but they sat her on their lap 
front row, of course, for the little show that yeah. they were doing in the restaurant. And there she is, sat on a character's lap, quite happy. Front row for the show. Care that and she the wasn't show was going us. on like this, just like <laughs> to her. Honestly, they were just looking <laughs> at her, no one else. And I'm not like doing this whole, oh, you know, that yeah, yeah, no. Seriously, if you watch the video back, they're just focused on it. It was like the show was was just for my daughter, yeah. and it was again that was very yeah. special and. <laughs> there we go. Next. <laughs> yeah, we've got so much to get through. Oh my god. Um, so this is what is your favourite Disney meet and greet? So I think that means like oh. a specific like you'd go to again and again. Like, you know, the set meet and greets that you can go to. Like Buzz and Woody was a, like you well, could queue up for that but it doesn't no, exist. For anymore. me, not really it's more the ch I get kick out for watching the kids yeah. with you know, yeah. I like to see the children be excited like you was when you were little going mm. up to your favourite character. For me, no, I, I, I like them all, I just, yeah, mm. there isn't, there isn't one. Um, I think we, when we've been to Mickey's house, that was pretty cool. Yes, Mickey's house is yeah. Mickey, 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 Mickey's house at, at Disneyland Paris, yeah, that, that always goes really well. well. Good. And um, yeah. that's cause I like that. work in that place, that's a very yeah, good choice. Good, good choice. Oh, that's all right. Very, yeah, yeah. But, no, we, the best. Mickey, yeah. Mickey does so good in that house. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's really <laughs> lovely. That's a good yeah, meet. That is a really good meeting. Really really lovely meeting. Meet. Meet. I, I really like um, Sorcerer and Mickey at Hollywood Studios as well because you've got the castle sort of backdrop and He's in Sorcerer and Mickey outfit. Who lo who doesn't love me in Sorcerer and Mickey? Yeah. So I like that one as well. There Good. we go. Um, <laughs> what is your favourite Disney ride soundtrack? <laughs> oh, here we go. Now it makes sense. <laughs> now I know why she got this. Not too long. We'll get copyrighted. <laughs> <laughs> Oh well, <laughs> yeah. you can't beat that music. No, Come the on. Sherman Brothers did it again though. It's got that good, well, catchy. It's very, very good. Oh, see, I thought you were going to say Soarin. I know, I like that music I too. thought you were going to go for Soarin soundtrack. I think I'm going to go for another um, classic though and go for Pirates. Oh, the yes, Caribbean. yeah. Oh, 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 when the boat oh, was like for me. me. You know, yeah. you, you, you can't, it's so Disney. <laughs> That's true. It's so Disney. Yeah. Yeah. See, and it is impossible, impossible to yeah. choose. I, I, I must admit, when, Disney, when, when they, you phone Disney and they put you on hold and you hear park music, <laughs> it's like, you, you can put me on hold. <laughs> <laughs> like, we're, we're almost like, Mum, Mum, come, let their plane soar in. <laughs> Yeah, I do like pirates. <laughs> uh, what is your favourite Disney villain? Oh, I think Cruella de Vil. Yeah? Mm. No, I wasn't expecting that. Mm. Yeah, it's got to be Cruella, hasn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh I'm quite surprised. Who did you oh. think I'd do? I just, I don't know, I just didn't, I didn't think you were so much into the 101 Dalmatians. I'm not, go. but every time, it, no matter whether it's a cartoon or, um, oh, I've the, forgotten who my face is. Yeah. Um, Glenn Close. Glenn Close playing she, it. Oh my God, good. the character comes good. through. Mm. And I That's think true. you would say, I know what you're going to say. Yes, I, I would type a scene That's between why. Maleficent <laughs> and the Evil Queen as well. Oh, I yeah, love both of like those. those. I do. And, and Evil Queen actually grew. It, she almost overtook. Maleficent's been sort of my favourite for a long time, <coughs> but the Evil Queen sort of grew for me after watching Once Upon a Time because I love Regina. Oh yeah. Oh my God, Regina, yeah. it's just yeah. amazing. So if you haven't seen Once Upon a Time, watch it. Definitely watch it. it. Actresses, they're, they're really they're good so as well. Good. Yeah, they're, they're so good, good and them. and just. I love her so that's really like boosted evil queen points to me. I just <laughs> love her now. Um, yeah. Oh, I'll have to watch that again actually. Oh, right, Mickey's not so scary Halloween party or Mickey's very merry Christmas party. We haven't been to either, uh, but it says you can choose one that you'd like to do most. So Halloween, Halloween or Christmas? Christmas. Yeah, I thought she. I'd go Halloween then. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, I clicked it. Don't change it. Uh, la la la. Your what is your favourite Disney collectible? Right. So we've got some things here I have that we've got to fetch to show you. Right. Okay. Shall I do... Are these all out? Right. Do these those ones first. Do those do ones these first. Ones yeah, first. yeah, yeah. Right. So, these have got... This is really fond memories. Right, hold on. Yeah. 
Emma, when she got married, she bought me Tinkerbell. No. Um, when we were in the park. Okay. And she bought my mum this, who's no longer with us, Cinderella's Stupor. So they sit on my dressing table. And yeah, so they're my favourite. They, they, they are good, they, so really, they they're really, they're dusty. They Sorry. do make you think of the castle because obviously they have that glass making shop there. I haven't even ever opened. No, it's still got the pixie I've dust. I've still got the pixie dust. And it dust. says Tinkerbell's pixie dust on there. It does say on there. Don't hold it by the lid. Oh my goodness. goodness. <laughs> <laughs> lid drops at the bottom and it smashes. But yeah, so it's, yeah, I thought it was very you, the little Tinkerbell, and obviously very classic. They're you know, very nice, so we put them, put them back gently. Ideal. Okay, my, my stuff's a little bit more obscure, I suppose. <laughs> so, I've got a lot of collectibles. I collect a lot of strange things and lots of... You know, the sort of things I'd like to collect are definitely the thing... Oh, don't drop that. Uh, the things that uh, I can't <laughs> afford, you know. <laughs> I think Van Eaton recently had a, a um, an auction and they were auctioning off just the head of an It's a Small World doll. That would be my dream. Oh, that would be the dream Speaking thing. If anyone's <laughs> really rich and a big fan of me, buy me an It's a Small World doll head. Just the head's fine. It doesn't have to be the whole doll. The freakier, the better. Just the head. Um, anyway, <laughs> scary, isn't it? Yeah, to folks this is there. not as scary. scary. I, this, I know my husband bought me this for my birthday, so I don't know much about it, but it says sketchbook Walt Disney, and from what you are, I'll show you a little bit of inside, it's sort of a reproduction, I suppose, of Walt Disney's sketchbook, or what it might have looked like for Snow White. So there's some drawings, it's very fragile, it's falling apart, and I'm missing the dust jacket. I'm just gonna... Apart. This is how it was bought. This is the state oh, that it was bought. Because so, I think Someone a good one in this. good quality would be a lot of money, put yes. it this way. So, as you can see, it's very sketchbooky. It's sort of the concept art. Concept. And we've got um, some pictures and things. But this is the sort of thing I love to collect. It's the artwork of it all. We've got some writing descriptions. But if I find... Aha, here we go. This is the sort of thing I collect. Production art. The art that the actual animators would have um, had that they would have passed around to make their notes from to refer reference to um, when they're creating the characters so here you know you've got a step by step how uh, Snow White would like from the front the side and, and directly from the side and you've got some note work from the sides here so uh, you know it said costume and construction uh, fill fold of collar around neck collar wrinkles or folds Bow, uh, bow adjusts itself to collar, you know, and the waist stretched onto skirt. It just, you know, they're just basic notes, but yeah. I love that sort of thing. It's the, uh, the way that they came up with her, how they developed her. And I actually collect the um, the actual hand drawn. So you've got like a, a little, um, I don't know what to call it, a print of, of what she might have. Again, this is an early concept, so the colours are slightly different to what we know. and. But this is like, you know, Walt's sketchbook of, it's, uh, of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. And we've got Doc here, I've got all the different um, dwarfs through here with the same sort of thing where you've got a bit of it's really interesting, detail. It? Exactly, I can look through this and see how it was all all came up with, how it was all made and what the, what the um, animators had to actually think about when they're um, drawing. drawing. So mm -hmm. here it says like, for happy. Cheeks react to mouth and, and, yeah. and things like that. So obviously they've got to think about how these cheeks, cheeks are going to be moving. With the mouth, so yeah. I just think it's really interesting. I love uh, there's the prints here as well. Just uh, what did the prince say? I think he's got some good notes if I remember. Maybe I'm remembering different, but. Well, we will yeah, do that so, for maybe another time because we have some yeah, more. Exactly. Okay, so beats, I really beats. love this book yeah. because it's got that inside. So yeah. there we go. Uh, and a photo you had? Yeah, no. Oh, right. So, second question. Oh, right. Yep. So, what is your most unique collectible? So, this is your wait, wait. What, your one slash the family's one. Please don't break this it. This is the family one. <laughs> So they were only tiny when I got this one. Yes, it is a snow globe of Cinderella Castle. Oh my god, what's broken, what's broken? It's just the box has come loose. Come loose. Oops, oh, it's box. been so, it doesn't get the moved box. much. The box has come undone. Don't worry, it's just where it's not blue. 
Don't, don't wind it unless it's in properly. It's in properly, there you go. It just so, yeah, slips it out if you off. twist it, it comes out. Okay. Oh, scares me. I do not want to break this because, it, like you say, it's from. I think we actually got this the second time. Was it the first time we went or the second time we went? Oh. But it was a long time ago. I've never seen this one since. So that's why I think it's quite unique because I, I, I sometimes I look not. in the shops to see if it's there again and it's not. It's got um, the little carriage and the horses all around the edge and all the greenery. All the brickwork. The detail of all the leaves and all the bark and the waterfall and everything around the base, and obviously it's an upside here, isn't it? Well, and obviously it's a glittery snow globe. globe, and I think the castle looks beautiful. I think some of the ones that I've seen since don't quite get necessarily yeah. a castle right, but that is just perfect to me. We still have the original. Label. I do. Have the don't ask why I'm still on it, but I tell you. It doesn't say I thought it might have a year. year. But I had a feeling that on the bottom we still had the price. Oh my god, we yeah, have. Yeah, we do. So it was $95. Oh, that was quite a lot in them days. Yeah, because this is over this is over 20 odd years old. Uh, I don't know. It doesn't say CPO. anything. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't know. But, I don't know. But that is um uh, yeah. Uh, it but sits it. on in our lounge. It is beautiful. It's the only snow globe we've got proper snow globe. We've got some miniatures and things, but we just haven't seen any that, sorry, snow globe collectors. We <laughs> haven't seen any as good no. as this. This is like the best one ever, I think. <laughs> it is. Right. We haven't seen one Pretty as good. good. And Pretty I good. wouldn't collect them as a theme now. No. Because I've got this one. Yeah. Right, again, mine is on a similar theme of my first. I have. A Minnie Mouse. This is production art. This is a real piece of production art. So the book was a printed book. Um, but this actually is hand-drawn pencil drawing of Minnie Mouse from the 30s. And I got this actually from Van Aten Galleries. And uh, I do have a certificate for it somewhere. And if there's anyone I trust, I trust Van Aten. They work very closely with um, the Disney archives and they sell off a lot of Disney stuff from the parks, from the archives, from um, you know, old cartoons and artwork and things, and they strongly believe they couldn't prove it, and they said that they would actually recommend me take it to an art expert to prove it, but they, sh you know, for them to put on a certificate that they strongly, strongly. believe was uh, good enough for me, <laughs> they believed that this was drawn by Walt Disney himself and used in a short in the 30s of Minnie Mouse. So the fact yeah. that this could be Walt. Because they wouldn't sign every piece because it wasn't just a case of drawing one and that's it. Yeah. Da da, Walt's drawing one. It, you know, he would have been a working animator then. Um, he would have had been coming up with hundreds of these per, you know, whatever frame. Per, I don't know the timings of it, but literally, you know, she'd have to be moving her hand every time and whatever there'd movement they're trying to create. So there'd be loads, you know, yeah. it's not like this was a one off. I wonder why but they feel that it is. Walt they just felt like the way, that, because they can analyse yeah. the way that the, the pencil work is on there. Because obviously, at the end of the day, hopefully, if they're good enough animators, all the mini mouses look the same. But looking at the, you know, how much pressure they're applying to the paper, you know, the tilt, all Everybody those things, they can, they, everyone's got their own like, signature. Yeah. And they just felt that this one was Walt's. Um, it strongly because, yeah. If I could obviously prove idea. that, it would it would be worth a lot more. Obviously, I wouldn't be able to afford it if they had proved it. Um, also, it was a lost in archives one, so they don't actually know what short she belongs to so, either. Yeah. So she, I was that a bit lucky actually because it would be way out of my ballpark mm -hmm. if they if they yeah. knew where she was um, seen in what cartoon and if they could if you know if it was signed by Walt, you know, there's no way I could yeah. have it, but. Yeah, I trust them. They're a very good um, auctioneer and they, they, they know their stuff. And for them to believe that it was a Walt Disney, and if, if it wasn't Walt, it would have been one of the, the uh, nine wise men, it, it, my old friend Rob. It, it would have been the original yes. animators. The, it, it would have been one of them. It, so I'm happy either way. I'm not going to lose out. It's a, it's a real Minnie Mouse from the 30s. And yeah, for me, that I just love this sort of thing. This is what they would have sat and drawn then someone would have put a bit of acetate over it traced it you know finalized it got rid of any like pencil marks that they don't want made it all nice and clean painted it photographed it and that's what you see on the screen yeah. so this is the part that the animators actually do 
and that's what I <laughs> what I like. Yeah, I just love. Yeah. I just, I'm an arty sort of person. I just love that part of it. Um, so yeah, that's my bit. That's why it's unique <laughs> as well. So there we go. Oh, try not to get all damaged up. <laughs> I was always getting, taking these all down, like to show you. I'm like, <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have a heart attack. Um, okay, where were we? Where were we? What is your, now I'm going to go blank, what is your favourite Walt Disney quote? <laughs> well, <laughs> I've written it down, down because this really sort of, I believe, I really do believe this. It says, all of our dreams can come true if we have the, the courage to pursue them. You should have put your glasses on, <laughs> I know, pursue them. Yeah. So, all of our dreams can come true if we have the courage to pursue them. Yeah. I think I think Walt should have been like a life guru. He comes <laughs> up with all these like you know inspirational quotes. Um, so oh god, can I remember? I might have to cheat as well and read it straight off. The more you like yourself, the less you are like anyone else, which makes you unique. So I like that. Like I like being my crazy unique <laughs> self, and I think that's a good mes message for everyone to just like who you are and be you, and don't try to be. Someone else basically just be yourself and go that's for your dreams be, is mine. Yes, yeah, so I think they're good for, ones to go yeah. for. But uh, right, uh, blah, blah, blah. I keep losing where I am. Where's favourite? Ah, sixteen. We're on sixteen. We're getting oh, there. Gosh, <laughs> what is your favourite Disney princess? <sighs> Snow White. Yeah, and Ariel. There we go. There Quicker we answers there. What is your favourite Disney snack? Oh. <laughs> Well, I like the the Werther's oh, Mickey yeah. Yeah. crisp rice crispy rice treats, crispy the treat with chocolate the dipped tears. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, Lovely. With the, from caramel kucha in Epcot, yeah. and uh, they they have a Werther's originals yes. that they melt onto it. it. That is really good. That's really a good snack. tasty. That's a good snack. Oh, I like so much. I think out of the classics, I'm gonna go Dole Whip. Um, I like, like the, that. you know, the, if you think that, of the really main it. classic things, yeah, I will go down with it. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, Olaf or Sven? Oh, Olaf. Yeah, I think Olaf as well. Uh, sorry, Sven. I like <laughs> Sven as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah Olaf. Uh, what is your favourite underrated Disney movie? <sighs> um. Hold on, I think. <laughs> she had to think about that. I can't think of what. Yeah. Meet the Robinsons. It is, I couldn't remember the name of it. Meet the Robinsons, that's really cool. Yeah, we like that one. I like that one. <laughs> <laughs> my, my one's not quite as obscure, actually. Um, Tarzan. I think oh, Tarzan's really good. Yeah. It's got a really good theme track, uh, soundtrack, and it's got. I, I'd like the sort of Beauty and the Beast sort of take on the artwork where they've got the hand drawn mixed with a little bit of CGI. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like hand drawn best, it's my favourite, but when you've got that realistic scene where he's like on the on the vines doing all of this and it is quite a, a cool oh, scene, cool. I like yeah. that. That was a computer. Huh? That was a computer. That's what I said, mixed with CGI. Yeah. yeah. I said yeah he said that yeah, that's done on the computer. computer. I'm saying that's the way I like it. It's kind of like not too much computer, just enough to make it quite realistic, but still you've got yeah. the hand drawn yeah. elements and stuff. Yeah. So that's what, <laughs> I, I quite like Tarzan, yeah. And like, Clayton! Like just them shouting Clayton all the time. Tarzan just going, Clayton! Clayton! I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> and I like kind of like, you know, it's really sick and twisted of me, but the, the way Clayton ends, like it, it's so, they always sort of do something to the villain at the end and you're like, oh my God, it's a Disney film, how dare they? Yeah. Um, but the way they, they end Clayton, I think it's quite horrific, <laughs> and I'm like, oh my god, like, did they really do that in a Disney film? Yes, they did, and I, I applaud you. <laughs> yeah, just, just put it this way, you just see some feet. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. <laughs> it's, quite, it's quite full on. Yeah. You've seen the Blanters. <laughs> yeah, they've all got some, like, some horrible things going. But um, well deserved. <laughs> and last, we have the last question, and it's an easy one, I think, ish. Marvel or Star Wars? I know she's oh, going to have an easy Wars. one. Yeah, Star Wars. Uh -huh. 
Even though I love Mandalorian, I'm gonna go for Marvel because I just, oh my god, Marvel, love I love Marvel, Marvel. I love Marvel. I mean, Star Wars because um, it was my first date with your dad. It was really yeah. 1977. <laughs> yeah. I went to see Star Wars. So I, I do like the original trilogy and the Mandalorian, but the later films lost me a bit. And yes, yes. Whereas the Marvel but stuff, just, oh my god, that music. I love it. I love it's fabulous. All. But Mar Guardians of the Galaxy has some true. fantastic yeah. soundtrack, yeah. and just I love the Avengers music as well. You yeah. put that on, you just feel like standing like a hero. <laughs> <laughs> you do, you do. It's true. And, yeah, uh, but look, da, 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 da. I know, yeah, I know. Come I know the soundtrack of Star Wars is pretty <laughs> unbeatable. I know, yeah. I know. But um, yeah, I love it. I even love uh, Marvel Agents of Shield. I know that not many people like that one so much, but I love that. I love that series. <laughs> I hate the fact that it's ended. <laughs> <sighs> anyway, we've done it. 20 questions. 20 questions. Now you know all about us. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you wish you had not asked the question. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And we need to tag. Um, I'm going to tag the Duke family and Loving Disworld. If you haven't seen them already, go and check out their channels. I'm going to put their links below. And thank you again, Polka Dots and Pixie Dust, for tagging us in this marathon question section. <laughs> session. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Not 10, but 20. Oh, like and subscribe and leave a comment below. Maybe you can tell us some of your answers. And don't, don't forget, forget your ears.